So, I wanted to make a follow-up video about my voxelization mesh tutorial and some of the new tricks I have picked up and maybe you will find them useful. So, let's say we have boolean out this shape and we want to voxelize this. The thing is, there are too little geometry for this to voxelize good and smooth. So, what I did is actually pretty... I haven't really seen anything like this in any tutorial. I basically split up boolean. This is my low resolution boolean. And high resolution is just added bevels and fuses. So, so basically we start with the base shape like that. And with the high poly we just bevel it, every one of these and then we fuse them together and then we pull the extrude exactly the same amount as this and basically we have high resolution and low resolution following the shape and it will bake very nicely so what makes it work is that this poly bevel tool actually has been updated since Houdini 18 and let's I'm gonna select it from the start select enter you can see that it's gonna stop exactly when even though we don't have exactly the same amount of spaces between the polygons it's just going to stop detect collisions like that see when we detect this it's it's not going to go past that which, I, which is ideal for us and then we just put down a fuse the minimal out of fuse we're gonna fuse together these edges that collided with each other and then we pull extrude and now we have a low poly addition mesh and a boolean that will box slice very nicely So let's take a look at the rest of the setup. So our high poly is done like that, mirrored it. Now we have box slided, and thanks to our geometry, that we have very dense geometry. See, we can are getting a very nice smooth result for our box slide mesh. So for our low poly, we did the same. We mirrored it. And what I like to do is just to put down poly reduce and just go a little bit so poly reduction node fuses something like these edges. But I do not want something like that, so a little bit back. Just to clean it up just a little bit so and if we go any further you can see that we are getting actually reduction for our circle shapes that we do not want. Let's put this like something like that. And if you want to create the circle shape a little bit more round, we can always go back to the Boolean meshes, maybe like this tube. We can make it more resolution. But for this example, I think it's gonna be just fine. I and I do apologize about not doing it in real time. My mouse is broken, so. I just made this whole setup very slowly and put this out for YouTube. So another way we can make our baking process a lot easier is to make sure we have good UVs because without them, there are going to be weird shading around the breaks of the UVs. So to demonstrate it, let's go to the auto UV node that is inside the labs effects side effects labs toolkit although these uvs looks all right now but you can see that there are these weird places where it should be disconnected for us to bake very nicely so you can play around with the projection meshes but also that creates little small very small 
pieces and also a merge island we can try but also it's pretty hard for us to get a good result with the auto UV so but if you look at this mesh there are very obvious places where we can make cuts so what I like to do is to create the group and this group is basically edge selection which is 52% of minimal angle so this basically takes every edge and makes a selection so after that we can put down auto seams and as an included edges group we put down the group too and you can see that as much as we want to change these values the edges that we created in group 2 always will be selected and after that we can just play around with these sliders to make sure that we have at least one cut like we have two I mean, two also can work but if you change the marriage tolerance you can see one cut we are getting very nice one cut inside here and then here we can set all the cuts in here and there are another cut and this is going to be a lot nicer for us to bake out so after that put down a flat node go to the UV and we have every one of these very nicely UV out although they are not straight you can also just straighten them out with this tool straighten edge loops but you do have to do it kind of manually so for this demonstration let's just keep to that and after that to optimize the UV spacing let's put down UV layout there are some cool options for our UV layout something like stacking that the collidelines you can see that it's gonna stack them you do have to be careful about this so I'm not gonna do it for now but maybe that's an idea for the another video for now we just have created very nice UVs with the very good holes that's gonna bake out very nicely so one last thing let's divide the mesh it's basically going to just triangulate the mesh we, you can check out something like avoid small angles because when we ex ex export this out it's always going to have to be triangulated for the use in the game so let's take a look at what we have we have 2300 polygons which is not bad at all just put down the soft and hard soft and UV seams harden I mean let's take a look how it's gonna bake out now that we have baked it out you can see we are getting very nice baked mesh with a very little amount of seams so let's put it inside the substance spider and take a look once you have imported it inside substance painter you can take a look how well it gets baked it looks very nice you can see that our low poly mesh baked out very nicely one other thing I want to tell about this method is that for the length of the quad for our shape in this situation it really doesn't matter so I just left it as a as a long quad along the length of the object and it actually helps with the poly reduction so we are getting a little bit less geometry so I didn't bother with the division for the length of the object and the other thing is of course we can do the same thing with the closed off shape this is basically just the shape, same shape only with the 
closed off ends. And with the boolean operation, we have boolean dot each edges and voxelize them. So you see, with enough of the geometry, you're getting very nice results. And of course, you can just repeat the process for that and get very nice bakes out of it.